Right, we're going to have a look at a couple of other men in the Vampire Diaries today. This is Matt Davis, who plays Alaric. And I do believe he's a biological male. He's got a male-looking uh, hairline and a long forehead. Defined brow ridge, wide-set, deep-set eyes, pronounced high cheekbones, a wide square jaw, strong chin, wide mouth, notable space between the nose and the mouth, large ears, a thick neck with a prominent Adam's apple, shoulders that look quite square and broad and could support three head widths. The arms look pretty long, the body looks kind of tubular, male-shaped, hips are narrower than the shoulders, hands looking pretty big. He's got um, one of those kind of more Scandinavian head shapes where we've got a bit more of a curve above and then a brow ridge below. Looking male to me though, these deep set eyes under a kind of severe brow. Definite strong facial structure. Yeah, the fairly large ear as well. This guy, he definitely has a male energy in the eyes too. You know, he's got a straight back, you know, male looking region around here, legs and everything, pretty big looking uh, rib cage torso, definite Adam's apple. You know, the facial features, yet again, looking, looking very overwhelmingly male. It's got a lot of body hair, but as I've said before, you know, testosterone usage can cause people to grow more body hair, but, um, you know, same thing with the beard, pretty convincing beard. Uh, we've got this Adam's apple, that's very defined, the whole correct shape that you would expect on a male. Um, you know, same features as mentioned, definite brow ridge, strong facial structure, wide shoulders, yeah, we've got the square shoulders yet again. You know, you can't see the whole hand here, but I am thinking we look like we have a bit of a male digit ratio. The body is a straight line along here, the torso. Very, very male facial structure. No female energy in the eyes, just very male. Okay, even uh, curving his legs out and everything, we're not seeing a curve to this region. If it was a girl, this kind of position would often, this kind of position would cause more of a curve at the hip region, and you know, these legs are looking pretty lean and muscular to me. Chest shape doesn't look abnormal to me. It's like a pretty normal guy, pretty typical. I'm not seeing anything really strange about him, no. Just male bone structure, male flesh structure, nothing odd about this. And the second one I was going to mention, Nathan, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, but it's a Croatian name, I think it's Butzolic or Fusilic or something, Fusilic, I don't know, but um, looks like we've got very square pectorals, um, this here coming in from the back is just built male muscle but straight torso line, you know, Really wide shoulders, the jutting kind of collarbone things that males have because of a stronger bone structure and a lesser level of body fat. We've got the Adam's apple, strong jaw, brow ridge, convincing facial hair yet again, pronounced cheekbones. He's built, but it isn't, again, the freaky steroid balloon man thing that you often see on really famous men, so. Oh. I don't think I mentioned he plays um, Cole in the Vampire Diaries, so. Yeah, that little jutting bone thing that always draws my eye. Correctly shaped, square looking pectorals. Um, and broad, kind of rib cage and torso region, which is typical for males. You know, the, these wide, wide shoulders overall, that head definitely I think you could fit more than three head widths on these shoulders. Very, very wide shoulders. And here we have it, the wide shoulders and the narrow hips. 
I mean, look at that comparison. There's no question these hips are narrower than these shoulders. Adonis belt, a looking musculature, no defined Q angle, you know, fairly long torso, also long legs, I don't know how tall this guy is, but it's a guy. Okay, so I actually uh, made this video months ago, but then I was just checking it before uploading and I thought, okay, it's very obvious to me that this guy is a guy, but it's not going to be obvious to some people, so I can't just, you know, be <laughs> lazy about it and half-hearted. I have to actually, you know, show a little bit more of this guy. So this guy, Nathaniel, he's got a sloping brow, a brow ridge, Looks like we've got a strong male jawline. There's a Adam's apple. That can be grown through testosterone use, as can the beard. But everything natural on him, it looks like a very male profile. Also, it does look like there's a male digit ratio, which indicates higher testosterone levels. Though some females also have this digit ratio as well. On a female, the back would curve at a higher point, arch outward at this point. This looks like a male back and posterior. He has very obviously male dimensions, uh, broad back, wide shoulders, narrow hips. The bones in here are clearly wider than down here. There's a long male torso and no curve to the spine. It's just straight and uh, stepping backward like this might fool some people's eyes into thinking there's some kind of spinal arch, but if you actually follow the line of the back, there isn't. It's just a straight back and the leg standing backward, so it makes everything appear a little more curved, but it's obviously, obviously straight. Again, no weird curving around the hips, just very straight. Again, the wider shoulders than the hips. The straight up and down torso. The arms, the arms might be a little bit short, but some men do have shorter arms too, it's not every man has long arms. You can also tell there's the jutting bit in the shoulders that females never seem to have in MTFs, and unchanged males always seem to have as well. I've I think it's just because of a lower level of subcutaneous body fat on males, and also the way that the typically males' collarbones lie at a different angle, so the bones will stick out more on them. You can see it again here. He's got yeah, a strong bone structure, and that he's just obviously the shape of the pectorals is natural. It's brought across the chest. The shoulders are much wider than the hips. Straight, lean male legs. Same, shoulders wider than the hips. That's a very male looking torso. And again, shoulders wider than hips. Some people will have a field day about this here, but obviously you can tell this is the oblique muscle. You can actually see the outlines of all of it. Um, so his torso is straight, and you can just tell that it's actually only muscle built up, but skeletally he doesn't have wide hips. It's just a straight male body and should probably, hopefully, be obvious to people. Um, yeah, again, those jutting collarbone bits in the shoulders that I don't see on females. And again, it's so obviously male. And on a spelt, you know, other male traits, straight legs, uh, hips narrower than shoulders. <laughs> it's just very, very clearly a male. But I thought I would be remiss in not properly showing this and only having a few photos. So, you know, I usually write in my video descriptions and encourage people to look up further sources. Don't just take my word on it, but, you know, look up other videos, look up other photos, and look at the important parts of the person, like the hips and shoulders and the spine and Q angle. Those are very important because the skeleton of a person does not change through hormone replacement therapy. Giving girls testosterone does do things to the face especially. It seems it helps them grow a little bit of a brow ridge. It makes the lower half of the face kind of lengthen a bit. So you'll have FTMs that sometimes can be a little bit more believable, but it doesn't change the actual bodily structure, the skeleton in the back and the hips and everything like that. Because females' bodies are designed for childbearing and male bodies designed for athleticism. That's just the way it is. And that those things cannot be changed. And that's how we can tell that people are transgendered is through looking at these features. There are real males and real females in the mass media. They're purposely put in there in order to help confuse us about gender. 
because if the public are seeing MDFs, FDMs, real men and real women, then they're going to think that all of these looks are normal, and it's going to just blend them all in with one another, and it confuses people very much. So anyway, Australia is not free of guilt of creating these inverted actors, but this guy is not one of them. This guy is definitely a male, and hopefully people can see that, because if they can't, they cannot recognise the essential skeletal structure of a male. So, you know, FDMs have tricks and, and hormones to try and look more male, but they just don't get that. They just can't achieve a male look, and this is obviously a male. And we seem to have a couple more Matt Davis ones at the end, so... Um, square shoulders, hips narrower than shoulders, big male-looking hands, straight legs, straight torso, male neck, male features. And again here, this shape is not hips, the hips are down below here, this is just his stomach. Uh, kind of like muscle and flesh, basically. But yeah, the hip is uh, at a different point, but yeah, the Adonis belt down here, here you can kind of see. Big male hands. This is looking like pretty male musculature and uh, bone structure here. So these two guys, I would say, are two more biological males that are in the supporting cast of this show. And that's that.